I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. In this video, we'll take up practice test questions based on place value. Here are five questions for you. I'd like you to read these questions, pause the video, answer them. Basically, the questions are in the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, where 2 is underlined, the underline 2 is how many times greater than 2 that is not underlined. So, we are comparing the place value of two numbers in the given number. So, we compare with the underlined number and any other number. In question number 2, we have a similar question but slightly bigger number. In question number 3, we have introduced decimal numbers. In question number 4, again, we have decimal number here. And question number 5 is slightly different. We are comparing the underlying number 6 with the underlying number 2. Their positions being 1 on the left side of the decimal and 1 on the right side of the decimal. The objective here is to help curious students to understand and visualize concepts that can be applied in different contexts, provide sound foundation and prepare for a bright future. We are also supporting teachers to share their knowledge and skills effectively, meet students' requirements and also prepare for certification to become qualified educators. So, in short, Students can learn and also teachers and guides can take benefit of our videos. In case you want to learn from me, you can send an email on the address given. Our students are doing extremely well. Some of them are rated as the best in their school. After attending university. The winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivan. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulik Leader Award. You can be there, join our summer classes and get ready for bright future. Here are a few tips. Let us understand what is place value and then we will begin with the solution of these five questions. So, these are the place value tips. Place value is the value of each digit in a number. So, here we have a number written. Let me rewrite this number slightly bigger. It is 654-3217.908. So, every digit has a different value depending on where they are placed. For example, the number 3, you can see number 3 is placed in the thousands position and therefore the place value for this number is 3000. You get the idea. Now let's look into some other number. Number 9 is placed in the tenth position and therefore the place value of 9 is 0 0.9 or 9 over 10. It is the tenth position. You get the idea. Similarly, if I look into the number 8, which is in thousandths position, that means 8 times 1 over 1000. So, this position is 0 0.008 or you can say 8 over 1000. And that is why we say this is thousandths. Do you understand now? What does the place value mean? The number 6, which is having the highest place value, is right there. And if you see, this is in millions place. 
in millions we have six zeros and therefore we can write this as six millions or six thousand thousand note here that whenever we write a number we use the period of three so these are the three places and these are the next three places. The first three places are for hundreds and this for thousands and that is for million which can be continued. So we have periods of three on the left side of the decimal, right? So these are the sets of periods of three. So they will help you to answer most of the questions. Another important thing is Numbers on the left have higher place value than numbers on the right. Each place has a value of 10 times the place on the right. So if I move from one number to the other towards the left, then it is times 10 place value. On the other hand, if I move towards the right, it is divided by 10. The smaller numbers are on the right hand side and the larger numbers are on the left hand side. You get the idea. Each place has a value of one tenth to the place of its left, right? So if you compare the numbers 2 and 1, then 1 has got one tenth value and 2 then 2, right? Okay, now let's look into the questions. The very first question here is in the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, the underlined 2 is how many times greater than 2 that is not underlined. So let's write down this number, right? So it is 12,342, right? So this number is 12,342. So that is how you can write your number. The underlined number is 2. Now the question is, how many times greater than 2 that is not underlined? So we are basically comparing these two twos. How do we answer this particular question? So I will tell you two strategies, right? So our strategy 1. And then we'll discuss strategy two. Strategy one is, as you move towards the left, the number is of higher place value. So let's look at this number, two thousands, right? So this number underlined is two thousand. Do you see that? Two, one, two, three zeros. And the other number is only two ones. You get the idea? The other number is two ones. So when we say how many times, basically you are dividing one by the other. And when you divide 2000 by 2, what do you get? You get 1000. Do you see that? So the answer here is 1000 times. And here is strategy 2. That is to say, we have to compare the two twos. We have to move one position, two position, and three position. Each position you move is 10 times, right? So this is one zero, another zero, third zero. And then the answer, 1000. Do you see that? So that is the movement. So if you move left, it is times 10 each time. So that becomes the rule. So as you move left, you can see very clearly, you get from 2 to 4, it becomes 10, 100, 1000. Do you see that? 10, 100, 1000. That becomes the answer. Simple as that. So any strategy can be utilized. All of these two to answer the question. Sometimes strategy two may be useful. Most of the time, strategy two is fast and very effective. Now let's look into question number two. 
I would like you to pause the video. You already know two strategies. Apply these strategies and then write down your answer. So, the question here is, in the number 7654274, the underlined 7 is how many times greater than 7 that is not underlined? Let's write down the number. To write down the number, count the digits, right, with the periods of 3. So, we have one period of 3, which is hundreds, and then thousands, and 7 million is the number. So, we can write 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 7, 4. That is the number. We are comparing the 7 in millions place to the other 7, which is in tens place. Do you see that? These are the two 7s which we are comparing. The one at million stage is 7 million. So, strategy 1. We'll write the number 7 million, thousand, thousand, divided by 7 tenths, which is 7 zero. And you can now cancel, right? So you cancel 1 zero, and then you cancel with 1. And what you get here is your answer, which is 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros, right? So 2 and 3, 5 zeros. It is 100,000 times. So, that is how you can get your answer using strategy 1. And now, we'll use strategy 2, which is very effective in this particular situation, rather, in most of the situation. Since we are comparing the 1, 7, and 10, we'll move left. Moving left means adding times 0, right? Another left, another 0. Another left, another 0. Another left, another 0. And the last left adds 0. So, this number is, as you can see, 100,000 times you get the answer. And so, we have the answer, it is 100,000 times. That is the fast strategy. You get the idea. So, in these two examples, we had numbers without decimals. Now, here is question number 3. And we have a decimal number here. So, the question is, in the number 786-543, decimal 6 8 the underlined 6 is how many times greater than 6 that is not underlined so let's write down the numbers first so the number for us is decimal comes at and position and we have 6 8 after that and before that we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it is 7 8 6 5 4 3 So, 786543, it starts with 100,000. 786543, correct. We are comparing 6, which is underlined, with the 6, which is not underlined. So, these are the two 6s which we are comparing. Now, which strategy will you like to use? Of course, we we'll like to use the strategy moving left means times by zero you see that times by zero and there you go we get our answer put the comma after three so the answer here is ten thousand do you see how simple it is even then we have a decimal number now you could divide and get the same answer try that out however this gives you the answer in fractions of seconds you get the idea now, here is another number for you to practice. Now, take this as a practice question. In the number 1, 2 underlined, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0. 0.123, the underline 2 is how many times greater than the 2 that is not underlined? So, in this case, let's write down the number. After and, we have 1, 2, 3, correct? And before that, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, that is the number 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6. Correct? The number which is underlined for us is 2 and we are comparing this 2 with the 1 which is not underlined. Can you please write down the answer? Well, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0. So, write 1 
and six zeros. Six zeros, three and three. So it is one million times. So it is one million times. That is how you could do such questions in few seconds, right? Next, which is the last question for you? Question number five. This is slightly tricky. So I'll call this as tips. Answer the question. In the number 865128, the underline six is how many times greater than the underline 2? So, the number is 865. Let's write down the number. 865 and 128 thousands. And we are comparing the two numbers, which are 6 tenths and 2 hundredths. You see that. So, the two numbers which are being compared are 6 tenths and two hundreds. How many times is one when compared to the other? Well, let's figure out with our zeros principle. So, one zero, second zero, and third zero. So, of course, we get three zeros. However, six divided by two is three. Do you see that? So, we'll get three here, not one. Because, look here, this number here is 60, right? And we are dividing 60 by 0 0.02, right? Or, since there are two decimal places, we can multiply both by 100. And so, we get divide by 2, which is 6,000 divided by 2, which is equal to 3,000. Do you see that? Since the numbers are not the same, in the place value, the value number of times will change and you have to take care of that and how do you get this three this is because six is being divided by the number two itself and then we have these three zeros you get the idea and therefore the answer for this particular question will be three thousand times is that clear to you i hope that makes sense you can always join our classes and learn much more follow us on youtube and the website Global Math Institute. Thanks for your time and all the best. We regularly register students for our courses. This summer we have a very special program. You can send an email on the address highlighted and join the program of your interest. That will help you to perform much much better in the coming semester. Register by sending the email as the seats are limited. Join Anil Kumar classes and get ready for a bright future. Thank you.